Hey everybody, it's me, Terry. Wait, no, it's Black Dog. Black Dog taking it easy. Eh, let's get around here. Ha ha, it's me, Terry, with the drone cab, but you know that. And I hope everybody's doing well. Did you miss me last week? Eh, we took a little week off. We did some planning. We had all kinds of fun stuff going on. I hope everybody had a great holiday weekend. But now it's time to get back to business. Today we're going to do a pretty uh, cool episode. They always are. They always are. It's good stuff. Today we're flying the Mavic Air 2. We're talking about Hello Dolly. Talk about some Dolly shots. Now there's a lot of confusion sometimes about dolly versus zoom, dolly versus tracking, this kind of thing. We're just going to kind of make it simple. We're going to look at three different types of dolly shots. Now a dolly shot typically, and you're probably familiar with this, but in case you're not, a dolly is typically a track system holding a camera. You move the camera horizontally, right? Keeps it steady, keeps it stable, gives a nice clean shot. This is the beauty of a drone. You don't need all that track and rig and setup and bulk and expense and all this stuff. We can get those shots nice with a drone. Even like a Mavic Air 2, we can knock it out of the park. Now, just quickly, let's uh, just go over a couple fundamentals here. What's the difference in a dolly and a tracking shot? Okay, a dolly shot, say if you were dollying past something, the other uh, drone just kind of going down its way blah, 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 it would go past something. Tracking shot is real similar. It can throw you. It's an easy one to get stuck in the brain. But a tracking shot would be where the camera, even though it's moving horizontally and sideways, it would track along a subject. So it's going to stay locked on that subject. That's where something like active track works really well with a drone. You can lock the camera onto the subject. The camera's going to stay locked on that thing, whether it's a car or a person, you know, a donkey, a horse, it doesn't matter what it is. As long as it's trotting along, moving along, the drone's going to do the work for you and stay right with it. Keep right along with it. Okay, dolly and tracking. Two things there. All right, dolly and zoom. Sometimes you can get lucky and fudge one for the other. Now, I'm a big fan of the zoom feature that's been added to the Mavic Air 2 recently in a firmware update. I love it. If you watch my last episode, you know I'm just absolutely crazy in love with it. Um, it does a fantastic job. But Dolly and Zoom are two different things. So you're coming in on a subject or out. Now this would be typically, a, 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 say, a distant subject or, or something more substantial, you know, like a building or statue or, or you know, anything like that where you're, you're kind of coming up on it. It's going to give you quite a different feel between a dolly and a zoom and the reason is the word bing parallax okay uh, if you're not familiar with what parallax is that's the relationship to the motion or the view of a background midground versus foreground subject so as you're moving in as you're dollying in that parallax is going to change. The, the, the relationship, the perspective between that distance is going to change. Now, you can always punch in if you need to or zoom, but that's typically from a stationary camera standpoint. So you're going to lose that parallax effect and it's going to look more like a zoom rather than have that, that natural feel of parallax. So word of the day, parallax. All right, so let's put this dude up in the air. I was going to walk through a couple quick examples, and uh, the last one, the third one, because I did, I promise, three? Can't count. Um, three. Last one is Dolly Zoom. Dolly Zoom, we all love it. I'm a huge fan of it, but it's one of these things you don't want to overuse. It can get gimmicky. It can look a little cheesy if you just throw it in there, you know, constantly. So it's one of these things to use with with um, some planning. Think about it. Make sure it's appropriate for the shot, or otherwise it's just going to look like, hey, hey, I've learned a new trick. So, and you don't want it just to look, you know, gimmicky. Just, just avoid the gimmicks. You know, it's like like uh, drop shadows were on fonts on line in the 90s. I mean, it just... It, 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 it was cool the first 40,000 times you saw it, and 
you know, enough's enough. And that tends to be a problem with a lot of drone operators and the built-in um, um, flight modes because they are designed to give you these cool effects like hyperlapse. Love hyperlapse. Hyperlapse is cool, but use it where it's appropriate. I mean, you look online, it's like hyperlapse city. You know, boom, 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 city lights, city lights, oh, city lights, city lights, oh, traffic, crap, cars moving, cars moving. It's cool. It's cool shots, and there may be a place for it, but just don't throw it in there just to show off the effect. It, it, it can just be overkill and become fatiguing to watch repeatedly. So anyway, I, I'm, man, this is sort of my personal opinion. You may disagree with me, but I just really like to make the shot or the technique or the effect fit the need of the shot rather than just, hey, let's do a gimmicky shot. Anyway, back to dolly zoom. Preached enough about that, sorry. Um, the dolly zoom is accomplished by um, flying in while zooming out on a subject or the reverse, flying out. So you can you can do it two different ways. Um, it's not too tough to do with this guy. It takes a little finessing because you have to fly the drone while you're zooming the camera. So it is uh, a little bit going on there. Now, the next step up in drone from this, the Mavic 2 Zoom, a few hundred more bucks. It's a little bigger drone. It actually doesn't do some of the things this guy does, but it has uh, the dolly zoom built in. So if you want an easier way, if you do plan on using this a good bit, then you know it's, it's easier because it's built in. But with a little practice, uh, you can you can really you know, pull it off with this guy. So anyway, let's put this in the air, take a, a quick look at a few different um, options, and uh, then we're going to get on with it. We're going to keep having a good show. Buckle up. Let's get in the air. Okay. First thing, we've already done our pre-flight check. Let's check our gimbal. We've got good motion on the gimbal. All right, up we go. Now we're gonna hover here. Actually, let's take it up a little bit, it's up to about 20 feet. And we hover here for about 30 seconds. Remember why? This is so the drone can record its home position in case of an emergency. It can return home, find its landing spot, which is, let's look straight down. Okay. It's landing pad, so it will come right back home, land right there. So now let's give it enough time to lock in. Now we're not flying at much altitude today, so I'm bringing it back down. And yaw around just a little bit. Let's go around here. Let's see. So I've got the stick sensitivity set a little soft, which is just fine. Right. Get our shot lined up here. And now, basically, let's just kind of do a dolly back. I mean, a dolly out. There we go. That simple. It's kind of a simple shot, kind of a clean shot. Now, let's do that in reverse. Go in. Now, of course, you know you can adjust speed, you can adjust all these uh, parameters around that. So you're, you're not limited to a certain speed. But those nice, smoother motions are going to give you that more cinematic effect rather than being so jerky. And again, I've got these uh, stick uh, sensitivity settings set kind of soft, so it comes to a nice coast. Now, I'm going to yaw because I want to line up the shot a little better. So you can see the grid there. Getting a little better horizontal on the grid. This is something you have to work with when your stick set, set settings are kind of uh, soft like that because it's going to keep moving. You're going to have a little more motion past uh, your release of the sticks. So now we're going to do that dolly left, left is left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, and to the right. 
We're just going to come back kind of nice and smooth. We're going to stop before I fly into the tree. Because remember, Mavic Air 2 does not have side sensors, and it will fly into the side, fly into something from the side. So you do want to be aware of that. Um, all right. Now. Let's get lined up. And unfortunately, your subject for the dolly zoom will be me. Okay. For our dolly zoom, first thing we're going to do is switch over to tripod mode. You probably saw that little letter T pop up there. Now, what we're going to do is fly in while zooming out. Now, I've already set the zoom up. And I've zoomed all the way in tight on myself. And as you can see, zoom out zoom in. So we're going to fly in toward me as we zoom out. Now I want to keep the camera locked on me. So let's draw box around me as the subject. Let's skip the little tutorial here. All right. Now let's start flying forward. Now one thing to keep in mind, this is kind of a tight environment we're in. We're in my backyard. So it's not got a huge range of distance, things like that, which will really uh, punctuate a dolly zoom shot. It's This is ideally suited for a bigger environment where you have more flying space to move around. But uh, this hopefully will give you a good, uh, you know, a bit of an idea, a good idea of what it looks like. So, And let's take it the other direction. So that's a little idea how Dolly Zoom works. Again, bigger environment, more space to move around, no fences, no pool enclosures, no trees to hit. So it's, it's kind of like you know, threading the needle here trying to get it uh, perfect for you. But that gives you a little bit of an idea of how dolly zoom works. Anyway, got a few zoom options. Let's move on to the next thing. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that episode on dolly and zoom and tracking and all this stuff. Again, a bunch of little tips and tutorials and stuff like that coming your way. But as always, please, please, please feel welcome to get in touch with me. Um, Terry at blackdogdroneops.com or I'm also a mentor at the Andy Brigade, uh, RomeroPictures.com. Under Andy Brigade, book a session. We'll dig into this. We'll talk about drones, whatever you want to know. Check out this cool picture. I shot this with a Mavic Mini. You might have seen it uh, posted on social media. Nice pano shot. So, man, it, it's, it's endless what you can do with drones and drone photography and videography. So if you're curious, if you're interested, if you're wanting to up your game, if you want to add to your production value, let me know. Let's do it. And don't miss the Andy Brigade kicks off. This Friday, September 11th at 9 o'clock, the new season. Lots of cool stuff coming uh, from George and Joe and uh, David Madison's show, End of the Night. So we've got a ton of cool shows. Check us out Friday night. Get in touch with me. Happy to help any way we can.